Take God's Word, the standard for life with Prophet T.B. Joshua. Get ready to discover how unique you are as you listen to this message by wise man John Chi. Nobody is quite like you. Great is your mercy towards me, your loving kindness towards me, your tender mercies I see day after day. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, you are welcome to the arena of liberty. You shall be blessed in Jesus' name. Your life is secured by the blood of Jesus and in the fire of the Holy Ghost. Look at your neighbor and say, my life is secured by the blood of Jesus and in the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shout Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You may be seated. The benefits of being part of God's family are with you today. You shall be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, consider this for a moment. Almost everyone in your life is more preoccupied with themselves than you. Almost everyone in your life is more preoccupied, more engaged, more committed, more busy with themselves than you. Therefore, you know more about yourself than anyone who will ever meet you. Never forget this. It is not what men say about you that really matters in this life. It is what you believe about yourself that matters. What do you really believe about yourself? Jesus was slandered. He was falsely accused. They said he was possessed with demons. Countless accusations were hurled like stones against Jesus every day of his life but it never affected him because Jesus knew who he was. Do you know who you are? 
Ask your neighbor, do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? This question would lead us to today's message titled, Nobody is Quite Like You. Nobody is quite like you. Turn with me to the book of Matthew, chapter 12. Let's take our reading from verse 24. But when the Pharisees heard this, they said, It is only by Beelzebub, the prince of demons, that this fellow drives out demons. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined. And every city or household divided against itself would not stand. If Satan drives out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then can his kingdom stand? And if I drive out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your people Drive them out. So then, they will be your judges. But if I drive out demons by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. If the kingdom of God has come upon you, wave your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus Christ believed in himself. And that was why no one could change his opinion of himself. What he was about, his product. When you are doing what you really love to do best, nothing can stop you. No matter the opposition, criticism, persecution, intimidation, blackmail, name-calling, slanderous remarks, Campaign of calumny, you will continue to go on and on. When you know you are who God says you are, you will stay focused on your goal alone. And nothing can change your focus. We are gathered here today because focus was not broken. How? Jesus Christ could have called angels to rescue him from being crucified. Remember, he was capable of coming down from the cross on earth. The Bible says he made a decision that created an incredible future. He was willing to go through a season of pain in order to experience an eternity of gain. He was willing to go through a season of pain in order to create an eternity of gain. Sometimes we must be ready to do things we hate in order to create things we love. If Jesus had called angels to fight for him, if Jesus had come down from the cross on earth, today there will be no basis for this gathering. We are gathering together unto thee. We are gathering together unto thee. Thank you, you may have your seats. If Jesus 
had called angels to fight for him. If Jesus had come down from the cross unhurt, today there will be no basis for this gathering. Jesus overcame by keeping his purpose, his vision, his mission in the forefront of his mind. You know what it means? When you keep something in the forefront of your mind, nothing and nothing can affect it because it is a secret place. We are celebrating today because focus was not broken. In the midst of storm, trials, and pleasure as well, he never allowed worldly praises, fame, or wealth to control him. Adopting a lifestyle that is on purpose provides an opportunity to enrich others by leaving your imprint in a positive way. Jesus never strived to look good. He simply was good. He did not labor to appear truthful. He was truthful. He did not struggle to have good reputation. He had character. Let someone say he had character. Yes! Jesus' character was designed from heaven. Judas Iscariot strived to be good, but after some time, he failed. Don't try to be, just be. Tell your neighbor, don't try to be. Just be. Don't try to be what you are not. Just be. Our goal must reflect our purpose. When you are serving a larger purpose than yours, your commitment will expand. In order not to end up like the masses out there who are merely wondering and unsure of their goal and dream, your purpose must be clear. When your purpose is clear, your life will have meaning. Today, it is money that dictates our direction instead of the giver of the money. If you are focused only in making money, a large slice of life will pass you by. That is, a very important part of life will pass you by. Are you there? That is why you see people with riches without joy. That is why you see people with money without the essentials of life. A resolve to do whatever proper thing it takes separates the weak from the strong. The strong are determined to do whatever possible and proper thing it takes to get to their goal. Jesus never begged anyone to believe him. He knew that integrity cannot be proven. It must be discerned. He never wasted time with critics. He kept his attention on his goal. He stayed focused because he had a vision. What is your vision? If you do not have a vision, you can never know God's opinion of yourself and others. Jesus was accused of being filled with devils. He paid no attention to his critics. He simply continued to cast out devils. 